All right, let's make this a group thing. Uh, Kurt Hillen from Pro Basketball Talk is here. Um, why are you smiling, Michael? That was a. That, uh, I, mean, leaving, I know you happen to he's see Kurt. You for some I'm happy to see Kurt too. Man. Oh, no, is he? What, what'd you say? What'd you say, Kurt? <laughs> You're leaving him for that Saudi money, man. <laughs> That's no, right. Listen, no, I always. Mike talking about. I'm always. Hey, Kurt, you hear, you hear Mike introducing a side chick? <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, man. I, I she just, just quick side note. I am. I'm sort yeah. of. I have. Michael's good. You'll appreciate this. I've kind of given up my long-standing, like decades-long Newcastle United fandom, for this exact reason. I I can't mm. root for a Saudi PR machine. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. No doubt. Um, wow. Listen, but I was. But but back. But what's what got us off track a little bit there? I'm I'm elated to see you too, Kurt. But Michael had this like. You know, cat that ate the canary type <laughs> smile. Like, was that it? It was like, was that a I told you so smile? I, I, so, no, I'm, sorry, I, what, I'm just laughing. What was that? I'm just laughing at a number of things. I'm just laughing at a number of things. Man, go ahead, go ahead, proceed. Oh, proceed. y'all yeah, about to say you can start. You can start where you want. Okay, right. my, hey, right, Kurt, well, Kurt, 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 out. Go ahead. Yeah. Go yeah. ahead. All right. Well, one of us got. I to mean, go. I'm a lob. I'm well, a lob this to you, Kurt, like Time Lord. Was last night okay. a bad outing by Golden State and Draymond in particular? Or a bad sign for the series moving forward. It's almost as if the Celtics is like they're in this fight, right? And you know, both yeah. teams are talking about matching force with force. And, and but you know, it's almost felt like last night the Celtics were like, "Wait, we're bigger than you are," and 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 they and they acted like it. Yeah. They carried themselves like it. There was a conversation I had with somebody on the Warriors off the record between Game One and Two, and there was a certain amount of. Hey, we played Dallas and we played through the West and we haven't seen anybody this big, this strong, this fast. Like they came at us in waves very different than we had seen till that point. And that they were how much they were going to have to up their game because they realized they are not the biggest, strongest, fastest team in this series. And in game two, Boston helped them out by turning the ball over 19 times and shooting themselves in the foot. And I think that that's what I'm taking away from this so far. Boston's the better team, guys. They're just when they don't hurt themselves, when they don't turn the ball over or kind of go to sleep on defense for a while. And hey, maybe I feel bad for Al Horford. You're like, get out at the level of the ball. He's like, I'm at the three point line. I'm like, that's Steph Curry. That's not far enough, man. Get farther out there. When they actually play up to their potential, I don't think the Warriors can hang. They're not as deep, they're not as athletic, they're not as physical, and they're not as big. And when Robert Williams is playing like that, man, you're not getting much in the paint either. See, and, and, about, and before we go to you, Michael, I, yeah, I, at the risk of riding the wave of this series, because I really do feel like this is, you yeah. know, this is Rocky versus Apollo. Like they're just gonna keep throwing haymakers at each other. Like it wouldn't shock me one bit if if the Warriors from Game Two showed up in Game Four. You know, um, but having said, I think what I made a mistake of, Michael, uh, after Game Two was I was I thought the opposite. I'm like. I think the Warriors are better, but for the fourth quarter of game one. And we know what the Warriors do in 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 game, excuse me, in the third quarter. So I guess Michael was like, is like was last night. Can we count on that from the Celtics consistently? You're right, you're right, Kurt. A lot of the Celtics is, is self-inflicted. A lot of their issues are self-inflicted. But can we count on that type of performance from a, a Celtics team that is great at responding to losses? We know that. The Celtics coming right, off right, a loss, right. don't mess with them. But you know, part of I think part of their DNA is what I'm getting at, Michael, is that they can either be forced into these errors, or sometimes they're unforced errors, or sometimes they don't play to their size advantage. Yeah, that makes sense. Absolutely. Hey, that's a great question. Hey, and Kurt, you tell me, hey, Michael. The, the key, uh, the key word or the key phrase, Mike Smith was used was, "Can you count on it?" Now, or, or what? What I hear is. Would you bet on it? <laughs> and I would not <laughs> bet on it. So I'm going to say no. I can't count on it. Now, it Celtics at their best curve. Yeah, they yeah. should be able to do that. They should be able to impose their will on Golden State. But I wouldn't count on it. How about you? Game six against Miami. Last three minutes of game seven against Miami. Like we can go down the list of times that they just seem to not be able to reach those moments, to not rise up. And uh, by the way, they're a young team, first time kind of in this level of setting. 
I think they're learning how to do it. I think they'll win future championships because they won't make these kind of mistakes. But can they continue to do it here is really the question. I'm getting the feeling they can. I think that their confidence is up. Their resiliency is there. Um, they didn't fold in the third quarter this time. They, they did bounce back in the fourth. They've done it a couple times this series now. They're getting better at it. I'm starting to believe that they can do this and not fold. But if you told me that they came out and got smoked in game four because Steph Curry got hot and they turned the ball over too much, I'd be like, yeah, they're still that team. I, I, I'm with you. I wouldn't bet on it, but I'm starting to really lean into the Celtics winning this thing. Because, I, you know, it's almost like the Spider-Man meme. I could say that the Warriors are guilty of the same thing that the Celtics are guilty of. They yeah. both turn the ball over. Like, they both have brain cramps. Steph Curry at the start of the fourth right. quarter, I have no idea what possessed his body. Speaking of his body, <laughs> apparently the ankle injury is not all that serious. They expect him to play in game four, so maybe, you know, unlike last night, maybe Steph Curry is not problem number one. That brings me to Draymond he Green. <laughs> how, how, do, how do they solve the Draymond Green problem? Yeah, that's the big one. Which By the way, what? I just watched, but right before I came on here, which I watched is Which is ineffectiveness. Which is, I'm sorry, I was gonna say, Michael said, which is what? Which is his ineffectiveness for the most part. Go ahead, go ahead, okay. Kurt. No, actually, I just watched the whole Steph Curry com press conference. He was asked roughly 47 different angles about his ankle question, <laughs> and all he would say is, I'm gonna play. Wouldn't say, Am I going to be slowed at all? Wouldn't get into the details. Just, hey, he's going to be out there. So that is what it is. But I think you hit the nail on the head. If they're going, look, Steph's still been the best player in the series. I mean, he's been the best single player in the series. Clay came alive last night and started hitting everything, and it wasn't enough. They have to have Draymond. They have to get you moving the ball and get the opposing team scrambling into chaos to really thrive. They thrive when the other team is kind of that's why they thrive in transition. They thrive when they get the ball flying around. That's hard to do against this team. It's hard to do against Boston's length and athleticism and just they're on a string. They recover so quickly. You think you've got a four on three after they've doubled and they, they're back in the middle of it instantly. Robert Williams cleans stuff up. They've got to find a way and it's got to start with Draymond. It's not him scoring, by the way. Like he's got to score more yeah. and be a little more of a threat. But he's got to be enough of a scoring threat, but ability. also then find the guys. He, he's got to find Gary Payton in the corner or Otto yeah. Porter or whoever. The other guys have to get involved. No, he's too much of a liability. It's not, it's not just that he's not enough of yeah. a threat. He's too much of a liability. And where is Jordan Poole? Is he the splash stepbrother? Like, where has he been consistently? Like, he's, he's had flashes, but but nothing consistent. He's Kurt, we appreciate nice you, man. All, always right. good to see you. Uh, hopefully, see we talk to you a lot more. Hopefully, this is not a quick series. So maybe we get you uh, no. next week. I, I hope so. I, I, I'm back. At, I'm home for a couple days for a graduation, then I'm back in this thing, and I, I've still got to get to Boston. I haven't had a lobster roll in a while, so, you know. Yeah, I right. bring them on. Lobster. <laughs> there are plenty of them. There are plenty of them out Some here. legal seafood. All right, man. We'll talk to you. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching Brother from Another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave, and be sure to watch us 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Peacock. Appreciate you.